Hey guys, this is Joe Metalone, and today we're going to take a look at Angular uh, client side events, clicks and uh, focuses and things of that nature. Uh, that, uh, again, you know, I've mentioned in the past if you're coming from a jQuery background, uh, you usually want to hook right into those things. So, uh, with uh, Angular, it's really, really easy. They've got a bunch of them built in. So, I'm going to create a text area here, and uh, I am going to let's put an H1 here, and we'll just call this state. So, uh, so we've got a text area. I've got this uh, loaded up in the browser here. It doesn't do anything right now. So let's start with a uh, focus event. So ng, we just use the focus directive. So focus equals, and what we're going to do is we're going to set our state equals focus. All right, so let's refresh that. And as soon as we focus, we've got it. So cool. Uh, so might as well do a blur along with that. So ng blur, let's say this is gonna be blur. Refresh this over here. We've got focus, we've got our blur, focus and blur. Awesome. Uh, key press, how about a key press? So key press equals uh, state equals Pressed. Okay, let's try that out. We've got our focus and our blur, and now we pressed a key. Awesome. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, so, so new in um, Angular 1.2, I think. I'm not sure if it was in RC, uh, uh, RC1, but it's definitely in RC3. Uh, we can do, and these are really cool, we can do uh, ng copy. And I'm just going to plug all these in at the same time here. State equals copied and we can do ng cut if we cut the content i guess and we can do ng paste which is really really interesting that they they have these in there and, and they work great so there's a, a cut copy and paste let's refresh here so we've got our focus and our blur we've got our key down and i'm going to highlight this and uh, i'll do this two different ways so first i'm going to do Control c you can see i copied it there i'm going to do Control x i cut it and i'm going to do Control v I pasted it, and uh, so let's do this the long way. So copy, copied it, and cut, cut it, and paste. Hey, I pasted it. All right. Uh, so let's try something else here. Let's do a button, and uh, we'll have some stuff on this. So let's say uh, button state, and let's have uh, uh, B state for that. So let's refresh there, see what we've got. So we've got this button state. All our other stuff is still working just fine. This doesn't do anything right now. So let's add some client side events to that. Uh, let's start with uh, mouse over, okay? And we're gonna say what we call it, B state equals over, okay? Refresh that, and when I hover over it, I've got it. So we might as well do an out, which is gonna be See, we're going to say out on that, and that's going to be mouse leave. So let's refresh there. Mouse over, mouse out, boom, boom, boom. No problem. Uh, you can do some more in there as far as mouse moving and so forth, uh, and they're all listed on the Angular website. Uh, I'm not going to jump into them right now because it's going to start getting confusing. Uh, so, you know, the purpose of this is just to expose you to the basics here. Um, but, of course, there's, there's a lot of other ones for the mouse. Uh, but let's try ng click which is a pretty common one used all over the place. Uh, so state equals clicked. And we'll refresh that. So we got our over, our out, and our clicked. And then uh, we can do a double click. So dbl clicked and uh, double clicked. All right, let's try that. So we've got our over, our out, our click, out, double click. Now, obviously, it's registering that first click and then uh, click click double click okay so there we go click double click awesome and we've got all this working up here as well copy cut paste hey there you go uh, so that's a quick look at client side events in angular js uh, hope you guys enjoyed it have a good one